Uh oh. This might not be bait. Uh oh. Out here looking for more baits for the clients. This feels like something else. I think it's a little too big for bait. Maybe not. Now it's coming up. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't think that's a bait. Lord have mercy. That ain't bait. There we go. Get up here. Oh. Golly. What is this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Might be a jacker ball. Hard to tell on this light setup. Oh. Dakota, there's a bunch of big mahi, like three of them right down here. Roger that. We see them. Oh, jeez. There's mahi all around the area. We're seeing mahi everywhere, but they're not biting. Way out here with Robert. I thought Robert was in shore. I haven't been in shore all day, buddy. I've been out here catching baits. But whatever I have on is not bait. I was wrong. This is too big. I don't know what it is. Dakota, you copy? Golly. What's that blue on it? Something big on you guys. At least too big for this light setup. Working me right now, but God, every time I start gaining some ground, it does that and rips line back down. Jeez. It's only 20 pound test on this setup. This is my setup for catching the live bait here. So I can't really horse it, can't add too much drag. I just gotta slowly wear it out, whatever it is. Golly. Got a feeling it's a jacker ball. It's kinda got these, oh my gosh. Kinda telltale sort of head shake feeling. But you just never know out here. It could be a lot of things. Something good. <laughs> yeah, get up here. Water's really clear and I don't see it yet. It's still a ways down there, I think. other line out. Oh, I see it. I see it. Hell yet. I think it might be wrapped in my line. Oh god. Yes it is. Almaco Jack. Almaco Jack. Yep. Yep, that's what we need for dinner. <laughs> nice! Sick! He's all wrapped up in my other line. I just gotta cut this. That is a boila or Almaco Jack. One of the best eating fish out here. And we are desperate need of fish for dinner tonight. That's perfect timing, super clutch. Nice one. On the light setup, that was a fight there. That was a fight and a half. Sick. Beautiful fish, man. That's so clutch, dude. That's what we needed for dinner. All right, bleed this guy. Amigo. Hoy es mi día. En el jiguisito. I was fighting half there, bud. I was like, I got a bait all of this ain't bait. No, oh, covered in blood. That's a good thing. 
It's an Almaco jack, related to amberjack, but you know, they catch them in Florida and nobody really eats them. They got worms most of the time, really bad. They get a lot of worms, but here in the Pacific, we've never found a single worm in any fish we catch out here. Something different about the reefs or the water or the water temperature, I don't know what it is, but that fish right there tastes like a grouper in these waters. One of our favorites to eat, and that's the perfect eating size. We'll keep working on bait and maybe catch some more dinner in the process. So I recently switched sunglass brands to these Waterland Co. sunglasses, polarized sunglasses. These things are about half the price of the sunglasses I used to wear out on the water. And every bit is nice as the ones I've used in the past. I'm absolutely loving these glasses. I think there's a tremendous value. And today I've been looking down at bait fish that according to my fish finder are 50 feet below the surface. And I'm looking at them clear as day. These lenses are just so, so nice for cutting through that glare. I uh, saw a Wahoo today free swimming. Really, really loving these shades. And they gave me a discount code you guys can use to get 15% off. And like I said, they're already a phenomenal deal. They're already just extremely fairly priced. A lot of these sunglass brands are just, just ask crazy prices for their shades. But these are already a great deal and you can get 15% off a retail price with the code YAKFISH. I'll put a link of that down in the description, but check them out guys. If you're in the market for some new sunglasses, I've been just so pleased with these. And again, I can get two pairs of them for the same price as what I used to wear. So check them out. Today was a difference maker. I was literally looking at bait 50 feet down and uh, watching them react to my jig and able to pick up a few baits. And one of them that I handed the client turned into a rooster fish. Mine turned into a giant rooster fish the difference maker today, being able to see down into this water and see what's going on around me and below me. Let's see if we can't pick up another one. I got Fred back here. He really wants a bait. I'm working hard trying to get him one now. Something else pretty big. Oh God. Oh my gosh. My camera bump just broke. That's not bait. That's not bait. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Something big, you guys, on the light setup. Now there's something big on the bait setup. Scream and drag. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a long way down there now. There we go, gaining some ground. Gaining some ground on it or it's just coming up. Getting it up now. Getting it up off the bottom now. Oh, but it's not done. Might be another one. Something good on the light setup. Screaming runs, man. Uh. It's slowing down, but it ain't done. Get up here. God, no way. That rooster broke my camera boom and it just popped off again. Grail. I think it's another bowl out. Another Almaco Jack on the bait setup. Arms burning, worn out. Oh. 
I'm surprised I can't see it yet. Oh, I see it. I got a glimpse of color. Otra Amico Jack. Another one. Mercy, that's a fight on that rod. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy. We own them now. I'm a Kojak number two. In about 10 minutes, again on this little micro jig. Tiny little jig, just use this for catching bait. Wet, dude. <laughs> I'm also fishing with this thing today, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, I've had a line in the water behind me basically this whole time. This is from Lighthouse Lures. This thing is 14 ounces. Basically just a gigantic paddle tail. But I'm pretty confident this thing would hook a grouper or a big Almaco jack, even a rooster fish. And it's kind of got the pattern of a, a bonita, which is the most common bait fish out here. Kind of looks like a blue runner actually. But yeah, just basically been letting this thing dangle down there super deep. Now it's kind of a pain. I got to kind of fish around it and make sure I don't tangle it with this current and stuff. But I got a feeling if I just leave this thing down there near the bottom, all day like eventually you know that thing the tail's gonna be kicking good in the current even if it's not really moving anywhere i gotta believe something is gonna pick this thing up eventually it's kind of playing the, the long game on this just letting it dangle down there at the bottom uh has yellow yellow fins silver body Got Ryan here battling something big on the light setup. Been fighting it for a while now. We're fighting some wind and current out here. He's got something big on the light setup. Been working him for probably a good 20 minutes. He's been fighting it. This thing is fighting harder than the Kubera. <laughs> <laughs> They're so strong. So over here he's doing a good job of managing his boat position. He's got another line out with a live bait and he's having to work hard to keep that from spinning and wrapping around himself. It could be very dangerous if that happened. Nice big jack revolve for Ryan here. Just grab it. Yeah! There you go! Ah! <laughs> that was a battle and a half there on that light setup. Ah. How big is it, this grouper? Oh, yeah, dude. Yes, yes. Man, look at this! Tomas! Just sneaking in a grouper like it ain't no thing. That's a broomtail grouper, man. Nice. Nice job, man. Great yeah. fish. We're on. We're on. Oh. Uh. Oh. Something big on you guys. I'm on big, I'm on big. Oh, it got me in the rocks. No, 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 no. No, oh, it's got me in the rocks. Oh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I feel the rocks. But there's the fish. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That was something huge. On the big swim bait. Lord have mercy, I think it broke me. Oh my gosh, I could not stop that fish. Holy, oh, that was sketchy. I thought it was gonna flip, broke me off in the rocks. Broke my leader, my knot held up. Oh, you guys, oh my goodness. I just got smoked on that big swim bait. 14 ounce swim bait from Lighthouse Lures. That fish headed straight down. That was either a big broomtail grouper or a big Kubera snapper. I just got smoked on that giant swim bait. Could not stop the fish and it broke my leader in the rocks. Damn it. Ay la verga amigo. You guys, that was a downright scary fish. And I had this tied on 80 pound leader this entire trip. And today, of course, I switched rods and put it on this and it's only 50 pound leader and I stared at it all morning and decided it was gonna be fine. And that's what failed. That was a, that was a bad call this morning. It cost me that fish. I don't know if I would've got it on 80, but Man, I got one more of those swim baits, but it's back at the lodge, so doesn't do me any good today. Holy, that was, that was scary and fun. I wish I had the other one on me. Creo que voy a llegar esa piedra, grouper uno, group uno. Dios mío. Vitor, 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 Marlin, Marlin, Marlin se pique. Did it stop? Should I engage it? Yeah, is this still ripping out line? If it's ripping out line, engage it, engage it. El cliente, el cliente, un Marlin pequeño, creo. I think Bassmaster Rob is hooked up on a freaking Marlin. <laughs> Holy sh. <laughs> Marlin just bit his bait, jumped three times. We're seeing if he can hook it. Oh my God, uh huh? Yeah! Yeah! Oh my God! <laughs> oh! He is hooked off to a Marlin. Oh no, it looks like maybe it spit it. Oh! <laughs> wow! I don't know if I got that on the camera or not. Oh, the first three times it jumped was right by the boat while it was still in free spool and oh my goodness. Wow. Se fue, se fue, se fue. Se salteó tres, cuatro, seis veces. Marlin se pique. Wow. Rob, one of the clients here, just hooked a marlin. First client I've ever had hook a marlin here. It jumped two or three times while he had it in free spool. We let it eat, let it eat. He engaged it, he had it on, it was pulling him. Jumped some more, I think I got it on video. Jeez, that was crazy. Wow, man, you can scratch that off the bucket list. Black marlin hooked from a kayak. That was wild, that was wild to watch. You just never know. Uh, half that bonita that I dropped right next to my kayak and literally like in 10 seconds. I mean, he must have ate it like within 20 feet of my, yeah, because I just dropped it down. That is freaking wild, man. There you go. That's a good fish. Just keep the pressure on him. They're strong fish, man. <laughs> They're no joke. He'll give you a little bit, Sydney. Yeah. You're doing perfect, though. Just keep the pressure on him. Yeah. 
Jeez. And look, sometimes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Flip your kayak, flip your kayak to the right. There you go, turn it, yep, 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 there you go. Sometimes you gotta use your upper body. You look at me for one second. Sometimes you gotta go like this and then reel down. There you go, perfect. Now reel down. There you go, you got it. What color? Silver. Silver, baby. Oh man, giant rooster. Dude, that's a tank. Yeah! All right, I'll talk you through it, okay? Holy wow, shit. bro. You guys are on my face. Okay, so, no, too. okay, not too much line. You wanna let a little line out. No, no, oh, yeah, don't backlash it. Okay, now, he's got, right in his gill play, there's gonna be a pocket. Slide your hand right in there and lift him up in your lap. You, you want me to help you? I think you got it. Let a little more line out, probably. Right in here? Yep, right in there. Yes, sir. And hold on tight. He's probably going to freak a little. You're going to want to let a little line out. A little more line out. Don't lean. There you go. Perfect, man. Now put that in a rod holder. Perfect. You got this. Here we go. Let's see that hero shot. Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Let's get a cockadoodle do. Yeah. Killer. Okay. Let him go? Yep. Uh, you got the hook out? Yep. Okay. I'll, I'm going to come and grab him. What's that? I'm going to come grab him because we got to revive him a lot better in the panga. The best part is I caught my own. Yeah, you did it all. You did it all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Hey, I think I got the risk of this. Could have looked at me, buddy. Congrats, bro. There it is. Woo. That's a good sign, guys. I'm wondering if you're doing right now. They all will. And you got a rooster to celebrate. <laughs> did you see what the... Stud rooster, too. Alright, you ready to go, buddy? Well, he's about, what, 40? Oh, he's easily 40, 41, okay, 42. Okay, so for a rooster, you don't necessarily have to be right on the bottom with your line bait. Got Brandon. Brandon's hooked up big. He had a blue runner out. He had a blue runner out. Uh, his radio was dead. So he was screaming from the other side of the mountain. He's definitely going on a sleigh ride right now. Hopefully this is your rooster, buddy. Doing a good job keeping that rod to the front. She's tugging. Oh yeah. No, just take your time, man. Tired it out. Looks like you already got it up off the bottom. I think you're in plenty deep water. You seen any colors yet? Rooster, rooster. Hey, Brandon, remember you got that uh, that swivel on your line, so you don't want to get that in your tip. Yeah. You want to end up at about a rod's length when you get it to the boat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 
you, baby. What a snag, Brandon. What a snag. Wow. Dude, you planted that, planted that land. Got good. Dude, Brandon just landed a rooster. She's super green till you hefted it right into the kayak. Hell yeah, that's all he wanted. He said he was wow. Dude, how you feeling right now? I am pumped. <laughs> wow, man. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, and that's all she wrote for today. Epic day out here at San Patricio. <laughs> Tons of fish caught. My ride on his way over here to pick me up. We got about an hour and a half ride back to the lodge. Long way home. But what a day, what a day. So many fish caught. Amigos! La sensación de YouTube. Un gallo grandote, dos boala. Buen día. Estoy cansado, amigo. Killer job, man. Kubera, Rooster, Big Jack. Killed it all week, man. Good job. That's some redfish in inshore. I got it on my GoPro. Cool. That's what it is. All right. Two for one special on boil ass today, Amico Jacks. We're gonna play these guys up. Yoda's already got to work. Yeah. Gonna cut up dinner. Pretty straightforward playing these guys, pretty much like any fish. These fish are so tasty in the States, in Florida, in the Atlantic. They often have worms, but here in the Pacific, they taste like grouper, and we've never found a single worm in any fish here. It's meaty. About a dollar for every time I heard that. <laughs> Got one dollar. Robert. Oh, you, those were, I didn't realize you got two big ones. Yep, daddy's feeding us tonight. <laughs> got you guys. <laughs> got Dakota Dunmire here filleting this grouper. So is there, is there salt water? I know it's a dumb question, but I'm asking anyway. Yeah. You can't eat fresh water. It's almost as fucking freshwater fish. There are no freshwater fish around here, brother. This is snapper and tuna. <laughs> Made a gene. Got sashimi and we got tataki, which is basically seared tuna. So good. Mm. Seared tuna with a Thai chili marinade, maybe? I don't know what you call it. It's fantastic. That's what I call it. So good. Check that out. Whee! Every night here at Los Buzos, we got fresh sashimi and fresh ceviche as appetizers every single night, and every night it's a little bit different. Amiga! Vas a ser famosa, pero por razón mala. We got Jalisa here taking out the ceviche. She dropped the fork. We're gonna forgive her. Y Carlos. I want to be famous. Yeah, I want to be famous. These are our bartenders helping deliver the ceviche. Ooh, look at this, guys. Boila, Almaco Jack. You a little salt, pepper, garlic. And right now, Yami here is gonna put some melted butter on it because you can't go wrong with a little butter. Look at that. Just basting all these guys with butter. We're gonna do this right on the flat top. You can do these on the grill. That's that sizzle you're looking for. Yeah, I'm going 
Just doing it on the flat top, get a nice crispy edge on both sides. It'll be nice and cooked through. Super crispy brown on the outside. It's gonna be so good, you guys. Woo! Excited for that. One of my favorite fish to eat. It's such a treat to catch two of them today. We're gonna be eating good here in a few minutes. It won't take long at all. It's gonna be good. This is all fun. This is gonna be a treat, you guys. I got a little taste test. It's so good. We got mashed potatoes, we got vegetables, and like always, we got a pretty epic salad going down. Wait till I taste this fish. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. You're welcome. I love you. It's fine. Don't, you know what? Stop it. Stop it, you guys. It's fine. Boala, Almaco Jack, one of my favorite fish to eat out here. Was blessed enough to catch two of these today. Incredible day. So good. I already taste this. You already know. It's fantastic. It's good, right? It melts in your mouth. Is that fish? So tasty. It's like butter. <clears throat> and it's so simple. That's salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Nothing else. It tastes better than cow nose right? <laughs> A little better than cow nose right, Charles. Great, great question. Yep. No alien meat tonight. You guys may remember Charles Breon from my uh, cow nose ray catch and cook. If you haven't watched that video, you should watch that video. It's hilarious. But we ate a cow nose ray. It did not taste like this. It tasted a little different. A little more alien. This right here. You can't beat it. And to catch these guys on accident while I'm trying to catch bait. What a treat. What a treat. It's so good. That is actually like really, really yeah, good. Delicious. Yeah. It's really it's delicious. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I feel so fortunate to have caught those boala, those almaco jacks. That was some of the best fish I think I've ever eaten here. We eat a lot of grouper, tuna, mahi, wahoo, you name it. All the delicious fish that exist on earth. We eat them all the time. That boala was about as good as it gets. If you guys wanna come out here and do this at Los Buzos, you can join us for some epic fishing, some epic meals. Go to losbuzos.com. It's got all the information, the pricing, what you catch, which months, the whole deal. Check it out. We'd love to have you out here. These trips are always incredible. But that's gonna do it for now. We are all drinking, having a good time. We just ate really good food. We'll see you guys next week. Hasta luego. Ciao. Thanks for watching to the end. I love you guys. Subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't, I forgive you. See you next time.